All right, what we have here is a TL431 precision current regulator configuration. I'm putting out about a half an amp to a 10 ohm load that's getting quite hot and not much to it. It's similar to the voltage regulator, but it has two TIP41s configured as an NPN Darlington some resistance feedback and I put in this potentiometer so I could adjust the current output. That's 600 milliamps I could easily crank it up. To a full amp. And the resistor is getting quite hot. So Let's explore the circuit diagram to this precision current regulator. It's a variation of it I took off the spec sheets. All right, now we'll be looking at circuitry for the TL431 current regulator. Briefly again, this is a three pin monolithic integrated circuit, has three inputs, reference, anode, and cathode used with a couple of resistors can act as a variable Zener diode or an adjustable shunt regulator. The internal diagram consists of a 2.5 volt reference, an op amp, a couple of di steering diodes, and a transistor output. Here is the exact circuit that you saw in the video operating. We have the TL431 and I have two TIP42 transistors connected in a Darlington configuration. The output is fed back through R1, a 100K potentiometer, and with R2 forms a voltage divider that sends a small current into reference to maintain proper output. In the video, of course, V out connect it to a 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor to ground, and it was putting out exact, it was adjusted to put out 5, five volts. Well, actually, it was putting out a half an amp into 10, it was adjusted to put out a half an amp into a 10 ohm load, which is what produced the 5 volts. The circuit is fairly simple. Here's a 680 ohm uh, resistor. You use R1 and R2 to adjust IK. The voltage on, that sets the voltage here and through the two NPN transistors. And particularly note Q2 here will get hot because it's dropping 11 volts. This is a five volt load at a half an amp. Well, most of the current is being dropped through Q2 and you need to heat sink it as I showed in the video because it will get hot. It's very stable. It works well. Here's the circuit and there's not a whole lot more to say. Um, please visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Thanks for visiting.